we first met in uh, junior high, and we went through kind of an awkward stage. I mean, he's known Brian even longer than I have. I'm just the moral support. Yeah, he's my moral support. <laughs> and um, I first met Brian through an awkward stage. It was junior high. Um, during our eighth grade graduation, for instance, we both wore the same Hot Topic silver shirt. It was pretty, it was pretty ugly, on sale. We both showed up, so that's how long I've known Brian. And then uh, through our high school years, we still remained friends. We did football together. And then Brian got in the car, stereo equipment, and uh, his Bronco for a little bit, and we still remained friends through that. And then high, high school ended, and... Um, I moved away, and I'd come back every couple years, and even though I was gone for years, it only seemed like minutes, or days when I'd come back and see Brian, our friendship would instantly re-spark and rekindle, and we're friends just like old times again. And um, so this past time, I moved back here for good, from Albuquerque, and uh, Brian seemed different. I mean, he seemed more happy, more mature, <laughs> more confident. I didn't know what had changed, but they told me that he was engaged. And uh, I knew that right at that point that Tracy had had a positive influence on Brian's life, even before I had met her. And, um, and so when I did meet her, I, I realized why Brian had changed. I mean, he had found the perfect companion for himself. She uh, shares all the same common interests, has the same kind of intellect, intelligent and beautiful. I could see why Brian had changed. And so with that, I would like to make a toast to Brian and Tracy for a prosperous future and for many adventures that will come their way and for many years of fulfillment and happiness.